We look at the tail of the tape, and you know, a lot of these numbers are similar, but the one that jumps out, 39 years of age, Nonito Donaire is fighting very well right now. But, as you know, people, the old bromide in boxing is a fighter can get old in one night. The bio hopes that happens to Donaire. The rules for the main event, there is no three knockdown rule. Referee or doctor can stop the fight. A fighter cannot be saved by the bell in any round. If a fighter cannot continue due to an injury from an accidental foul before the end of round four, it's a no decision. After the end of round four, they go to the scorecards for a technical decision. Here is Jimmy Lennon Jr. Ladies and gentlemen, we welcome you to Dignity Health Sports Park here in Carson, California for the featured bout of the evening, sponsored by GEICO. This bout is sanctioned by the WBC, the President Mauricio Suleiman, the Supervisor Mo Noor, along with the California State Athletic Commission, the Chairman John Carvelli, Executive Officer, is Andy Foster. Judging at ringside, from California, Max DeLuca. From Arkansas, Karen Holderfield. And from California, Dr. Lou Moret. Introducing our third man to the ring, the referee in charge of our main event, Ray Corona. All right, fans, here we go with the main event of the evening, 12 rounds of boxing for the WBC Bantamweight Championship of the World. And now, ladies and gentlemen in attendance and boxing fans joining us around the world, live from Carson, California, it's showtime! Introducing to you first on my right, fighting out of the red corner, wearing black trunks with gold and red trim, hailing from General Santos City, Cotabato del Sur in the Philippines. He weighed in at a trim and ready 117 pounds. He is undefeated in his campaign to the ring with a record of 24 wins, no losses, 20 wins coming by way of knockout. Currently holding the WBC interim title, ladies and gentlemen, here is the challenger and WBC number one ranked world bantamweight contender, introducing the undefeated Raymart, the assassin Caballo. And his opponent across the ring is the defending world champion fighting out of the blue corner. Wearing blue trunks with orange trim, he fights out of Las Vegas, Nevada by way of Bohol in the Philippines. He weighed in at a ready 117 and one quarter pounds. With a record of 41 wins and six losses, he has 27 wins coming by way of knockout. In a remarkable 20-year career, tonight he is in his 21st world title appearance. Ladies and gentlemen, here is the renowned four-division world champion and the current reigning and defending WBC Bantamweight champion of the world, introducing the Filipino Flash, Nonito Donaire. Once again, a referee in charge. Now to give instructions, Ray Corona. Let's go, gentlemen. All right, look. This is perfect right here. These are a little high. Good. So, no, it's all right. So right here is going to be low. Anything below that is low. This is my command. You want to touch gloves? Do it now. God bless. Ray Corona, 21 years as a professional referee working his 616th professional bout. The resurgence of Nonito Donaire Jr., 39, facing his third consecutive undefeated opponent, fourth in his last five fights. Gabaglio knowing his life will change if he beats his idol. Ready? Ready? The bell, round one, scheduled for 12. 
Donaire has fought 18 opponents who have won a title during his career. Tied with Canelo for the most champions fought among active champs. He's fought an amazing uh, stretch of champions. Like the guy on my right, Abner Maris, who uh, <laughs> a few years ago fought just about everybody in his weight division. You know, there, there was a time where, you know, um, we were going to do a fight against on air, but, you know, oh, wow. the politics, you know, promotion against promotion, but never happened. And I don't see it happening anytime soon. <laughs> I don't see myself at 118. <laughs> no. Well, Donaire, known for that lethal left hook. In fact, he won his first world title at flyweight with the same crushing left hook against Victor Chinian, 2007 on Showtime. And in fact, the first Filipino champion, Pancho Blue, also flyweight. Yeah, big right uppercut by Gabayo. And a left hook to the body by Donaire. Caballo landed a tremendous punch and Donair walked through it. That was a big shot by him. There's a left splitting the guard for Donair. Caballo now, doing, I'm sorry. No, please out. Caballo doing a good job of keeping his hands up, yes. which is very important for him in this really, fight. Really, really tight guard. He's doing a good job by that because, you know, most of the times he'll throw a jab and he'll put his right hand down. But, oh, oh he's got sharp a right up. hand. A lead right by Donaire. Of course, that was because we were praising his defense <laughs> naturally. And with the retirement of Manny Pacquiao, Nonito Donaire, the current face of Filipino boxing, and to think at his age, I mean, at this weight class, your prime, you know, 27 to 31, and then usually done. He went back down from 126 to 118, and here he is defending the title for the first time in his second reign with the WBC belt. It's just so difficult fighting Donaire because either you can be timed, you can be pressured. That's why you see Gabayo being hesitant right now. He's not, he's thinking, he, you know, should I throw right hand? Should I throw my jab? I just got counter punch right now, so. Well, Gabayo does throw below the Bantamweight average as we come up on the final 30 seconds of the opening round, but Gabaglio putting together a combination. Both men very economical with their punches here in round one. And I think Gabaglio really doesn't want it. There's that left There's hook that by Donaire. There's a counter right by Donaire splitting the guard of Gabaglio. In that last round, we think of Donaire as a left-handed puncher, left hook, but here's the right hand getting in uh, after a shot by Gabaglio. We'll take a look at the keys to victory for these two men. For Donaire, Donaire control the distance in this fight. He, he wants to land those big power punches from outside. The jab is important for him. It's oftentimes underused. And of course, the left hook. That is his signature punch, as we've talked about. For Gabaglio, keep the right hand up, and he has done that very well in this fight. Don't trade hooks with uh, Donaire. The right hand is big for him. He was able to land a very good right uppercut in that last round. Not an overhand right yet. Well, it is a chilly December night of the great outdoors. Crowd down from the usual punch bowl audience, but these hardy fans, well, they are enthusiastic, and yeah, they have been treated to the usual scintillating action here in Carson, California. And this is round number two. Donaire is self-trained. Uh, of course, his wife Rachel works on the conditioning and also helps with the strategy, but he is essentially self-trained. And he said that's kind of liberating. I can figure out my what I want to do. Yeah, and he's been uh, sparring with former 122-pound titleist Angelo Leo to prepare for this fight. You know what? That's really, really smart from him there. Yes. And the way that he thinks. I mean, because at the end of the day, you go to the trainer and he teaches you a certain style. And there's something like, you already, at that point, at this point in his career, yeah. he, he knows it all. Gabaglio, the son of a truck driver. And a mother who spent many, many hours working in a production plant. And all the sacrifices that the, the, the families make to support the cause and of course a proud 
moment for not only Gabaglio, but for Donaire. And again, the respect that has been shared between these two probably won't be shared between the ropes, but... See Donaire fainting. Gabaglio doesn't want to fall for any of that. He wants to keep his guard high and then look for uh, the power opportunities, especially with that right hand. Donito being really smart there because he sees that Gabaglio's being a little hesitant right there, overthinking, and what do you do? You faint to make him make a mistake. Talk about Donaire's legendary career. One of just nine men to hold a widely recognized world championship in three different decades. That's pretty extraordinary. Gabaglio was four, I believe, when Donaire turned. <laughs> he was. That's staggering, too. Final minute of the second. And there, Donaire with the overhand right counter by Gabaglio off the ropes. We've seen more of the right hand from Donaire than the left. He looked for the left hook there a moment after he landed that right. Double jab, and then Gabaglio gets countered by the Donaire jab, and Donaire double pumping the jab. Yeah, doing a really good job by jabbing from the outside, and whenever he wants to get in, like Al pointed out, he, he goes in with straight with that right hand. He's in a good position to let his left hand go. Caballo has never been down in a fight, but certainly he's facing the biggest puncher that he's faced. Get off his head, get off his head. Nito Donaire defending his title, but age is just a number, right, Steve Farhood? Well, Mo, I ask you this, how old is 39? Donaire, the second oldest of the current world champs. He's also the oldest fighter ever to win a, a Bantamweight title, breaking his own record. Donaire's success makes you reconsider two long-held beliefs in boxing. One is that it's a young man's game, and the other is that the smaller the fighter, the earlier the prime. Looking at these numbers, maybe not. If fighting is 90% mental, well, Donaire's mental game has never been stronger. There's a back and forth action in the last round. This was toward the end of the round. Both men throwing big power punches. The right hand by Donaire, the left hook getting in from Gabayo. And look at Donaire, he's looking for that left hook. And you know, we spend most of the fights with Donaire wondering when that big left hook is gonna be detonated. He has scored 22 knockdowns with that left hook. He's smart about that left hook. He doesn't just let it go. He waits for the right time. He didn't see it there, he didn't let it go. Donaire turning 39 last month. He felt after the Inouye fight that he still had a purpose in the sport. Came in strong against Dubali. And now he says his purpose is to become undisputed champion of the world at his best weight, 118 pounds. But he best wait until he gets past Ray Marcabaglio, who has Donaire in trouble here in third round. Big right hand by Caballo. That was an excellent, that's an example of his power with the right hand and it pushed Donaire back. And you know how that started was because Gabayo started landing his jab. Yeah. He's being quicker with the jab. You take away the jab from Donaire, you be first, and now, and now we're in the fight. Counter left hook upstairs by Donaire. There's the jab. It lands for Donaire. And again, styles make fights, but already a much better fight for Gabaglio in terms of the styling. He talked about that against Emmanuel Rodriguez, a fight that, let's face it, nobody who I know thought he won. Yeah. Yeah, Rodriguez, he fought a, a very clever fight against Caballo with a lot of movement. Donaire oh, coming forward. Counter right hand by Donaire. Nice exchange here in the third. And the fascinating thing about this fight is Donaire has been a right-handed puncher for the most part in this fight. Those are the big punches he's landing. And, of course, Caballo has landed some good rights. We knew that was his major weapon. Yeah, we talk about Donaire, of course, right-handed, but naturally left-handed, as we've mentioned on many occasions. A minute left here in the third. 
This fight, this fight has turned into a timing type of fight. Mm -hmm. They're both waiting for the right time. Look how Donaire starts bouncing, waiting for the right, right time to counter. He wasn't able to because Gavallo was able to land the jab. Yeah, sharp jab by Gavallo. There's the left hook right by Gabaglio. Lead right uppercut by Gabaglio on the inside that misses. Gabaglio utilizing some footwork. Donaire trying to cut off the ring. There's a right hand over the top by Donaire. Donaire, one thing that's interesting, he just hasn't found the home for that hook, even to the body. He tried it to the body, and it just hasn't been there yet for him. And the youth of Gabaglio being served until the final seconds of the third as oh. Donaire now unloading on Gabaglio, but Gabaglio fighting back. Good stuff in round three. Cut. Hey, hey, hey. It's nothing, it's nothing. Don't worry about it. I need no man. One, one, two points. I need three, four. Okay, a counter attack gets three on four. You need a counter punch, no, and it's with two. the three and the four. You, and you do you must. You, you're very fast. Come on. Okay? See the word. Well, as they work on the cut over the right eye of Gabaglio, we go back to revisit what happened in the last round. Left hook landing by Gabayo, Gabayo, and then that was that right hand that we talked about early in the round. Donaire, however, was able to come back with his own right hand. And even though Gabayo's still countering him, there, oh, look at it, there's Donaire just missing with that hook. But some good right hands at the end of the round by Donaire. Over here, over here. Let's go. Raymar Gabayo was last cut over seven years ago, and a small cut here in round number three for Nonito Donaire, his first fight against a fellow Filipino since 2002. He's fought opponents from 18 different countries. <laughs> He's the United Nations of boxing. <laughs> He's fought them all. And another interesting thing to, to point out about age is, you know, they say that once you get older, you lose your, your, your legs, your timing, and... and it doesn't show. Oh, wow, there's the a well-timed right hand yeah, down there by the opposite. You look, at, he look at his leg, the bounce, and the well-timed punches from Donaire. Well, I, you know, it was kind of startling to hear Donaire say he feels he's a better fighter now at 39 than he was in his early 20s. I think, he, I think I mean, yeah, I think he feels like he's discovered certain things about himself and about the way he fights. Um, and, you know, that can lead you to important things. He's off to a good start in this round, to be sure. But in many ways, you know, with that statement, he's facing a guy here in 25. In Gabaglio, who has 20 knockouts, so has some pop, but has, again, never faced someone of the caliber of the pedigree of a Donaire, and there was a good combination there by Gabaglio. Yeah, he landed, he, the right hand kind of snuck in there. You know, Gabaglio is sparred with two of the nemesis of Donaire, uh, Guillermo Rigandau oh. and Nayoi anyway. Wow, and Donaire just ripped a right hand to the body and then went upstairs. And it's just the fourth round, too. We want to see how Donaire keeps looking, you That's know, right. as the right. fight progresses. He's beginning to sit down on his punches in this round a little more. Power punches in this fight. We see, you know, an edge for Donaire. Uh, not a monstrous edge, but a significant edge. Gabayo, Gabayo has landed the jab a little bit more, and it, earlier it was really setting up the right hand, but it hasn't in the last round or so. Gabayo's vision, doing a good job of staying out of range, trying to work his own jab, double pumps, lands the second one. There's another jab by Gabayo. You said it right, Mo. He's staying out of range from that hook, even the right hand, even 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 though Donaire lands and, it here and there. And Donaire, Do, Donaire sneaks a right hand to the body and then the left hook and a jab upstairs, so Donaire coming back. Yes. And then Gabaglio oh, fired back. Gabaglio goes down for the first time in his career, courtesy of a body shot.
Championship. The Idol tending to his fallen foe, but what a shot by Nonito Donaire. And at 39, mm. the power is still there. The power he showed it. He's knocked out guys cold. Perfect picture, but this is this was a body shot. It was well placed. Just when I was talking about how Gabayo was staying out of range, you know, from Nonito's power punches, here comes Nonito and he shut me up. Well, the interesting thing is he hadn't been able to land a perfect left hook to the head. Oh, a family, a family photo. And that's for Donaire, Jarrell yeah. and uh, Logan, his two sons. Yeah, it's a family affair for him for sure. There's his wife, Rachel, and, and uh, they are all happy. And here are the numbers in that uh, fight. And 13 body punches landed by Donair. None as important as the one we just saw in round four that sent Caballo down for the first time, as you pointed out, in his career, and he stayed down. He got up, but then went back down. And for Donito Donier, it, you know, that left hook is always there. It's always present, whether it's the body of the head, it can do you in. And we will go back and look at that punch, how it was delivered and what it did. And Gabayo was actually having some good moments and there it goes, wow, wow. Great leverage on that punch, wow, Abner. great leverage right in the liver. That was a liver, beautiful liver shot. Gabayo was not able to recover. He, like you mentioned, he tried to get up, but he said, nope, it's not happening. I'm so the hurt. paralyzing shot of that liver shot. Gabayo tried. He tried to get up. He went right back down. You have no idea how much those punches hurt. The delayed reaction, but here it is again, Al. Get great leverage by Donaire. And wow. just when he hits you with that left hook, whether it's in the body or the head, he has a good chance of knocking you down. The liver shot leads to the first loss in the career of Raymar Caballo. From 2007, when he burst on the scene with another left hook against Victor Chinian, Nonito Donaire has landed that punch in historic ways and gotten historic wins with it. And tonight, he gets another big win. At the age of 39, Nonito Donaire remains a nightmare for anyone at 118 pounds. Let's go to Jimmy Lennon Jr. Ladies and gentlemen, we have the time of two minutes, 59 seconds in round number four. He is the winner by way of knockout and still the WBC Bantamweight Champion of the World, the Filipino Flash, Nonito of 21 fighters all time to win a world title in four or more divisions. He's won titles at 112, 118, 122, and 126, but was devastating with that liver shot in recording his 28th knockout win, improving to 42 and six. Let's go to Jim Gray. It says one word, unify. All right. Congratulations, Nonito. What Thank was that you, word right there? Uh, unified. That's what we're looking for. That's what we're going for is unification. Unified champion of the world. So let's talk about this fight, and then we'll talk about the rematch, possibly with the new way at the end of this. This was an interesting fight in the first couple of rounds because this guy has idolized you his entire life, and you have tremendous respect for him. Um, was there a feeling out process here because of the familiarity and because you're both from the same country? First and foremost, Jim, I got to say this or else I'm going to have a battle that I can't win with my wife. So we'll go right ahead. First, I want to thank God, the Guardian Angels, for keeping me safe. Uh, Pro Bellum, Richard Schaefer, thank you so much uh, for the endless support. TBG, TGB and PBC, thank you for continuing my, uh, supporting my career. And of course, Showtime, uh, WBC, thank you. And of course, my sponsor, DeFi Sports, uh, the sports, uh, sports world. 
uh, and blockchain technology. Funware, multi-digital ads platform. Thank you guys so much. Fair Market Exchange, fast. All right, oh, hold on a second. Your wife's gonna have to get mad at you. This, hold on a second. Let's talk about the fight, and well, then you I'll, can I'll rattle all that off. Okay. I'll, I'll go answer your question right now. Was there too much respect here early, and was there a feeling out process? Well, I, you know, I've been in this game for such a long time. I've, I've had so much fight. Um, I came in here, and um, you know, there was nothing really feeling out. Um, I expected something different from him and he came out so much different than what I thought. Uh, my counters wasn't going and, and they actually tried to nullify my left hook which wasn't landing and so you know for me inside the ring I, I have no, uh, like I said earlier, there's no mercy. No mercy. Well you showed that there in the seventh round. Tell us about this vicious left hook that eventually ended the fight to the body. So we take uh, a look at the monitor, well, no need to. You know, my, my wife and my dad was saying, go to the body, go to the body. You know, and I had to set it up um, by bouncing. Fourth round, I'm sorry. Bouncing up and down, left and right, until I opened up with the body, which that landed with the left hook to the body. But a lot of it was to the right, to the right throughout the earlier rounds, and then that left hook to the body, um, you know, was, was uh, given because he didn't expect it coming from me. No, he didn't, and, and he tried to get up, and then he went back down. Did you think he was going to get up? I thought he was going to get up, um, but, you know, because I know he had a lot of heart, but that was a very tremendous punch that, that landed uh, on him. What did you say to him when he was down on the ground? You showed tremendous compassion and ran in there for your countrymen. You know, I told him, don't be down. You're a great fighter. You know, I was actually having trouble figuring you out. You're a great fighter. Don't never get down, and whatever I can do to help, I'm right here. I promise you that. Now you've mentioned the rematch before we started here with a new way. Is this really possible or is, or is it going to be impossible to put this together? Um, you know, that's Richard Schaefer's, uh, my, my, uh, my, my promoter Richard Schaefer's job to do. You know, me and you know, we have great respect for each other, you know, and all the other champions. Um, I believe that Richard is going to make it happen, no doubt. All right. Congratulations. Always fun to watch you. 39 years of age. How do you keep doing this? You know, faith in yourself, training hard, and have a lifestyle that is good for you. Um, healthy lifestyle, healthy eating, healthy training, all out. No, 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 no saying that this is my cheat day, because there is no cheat day. It's just a choice day, and this is my choice to be happy. This is my choice to eat, and this is my choice to train. This is my choice to be me. That's what we have. There is no cheat day. And it was your choice to win, and you did it once again. Congratulations. Thank you. And right. again, uh, you guys out here, thank you guys so much. Uh, big, big, big thank you to the city of Carson, who has given me and everybody out here. And of course, to the Sheep Armies, thank you for coming out. DeFi Sports and everybody else. Funware, that's right. Uh, Light Computer, everybody. Thank you guys so I much. I think you got them all in now. Oh, man, I can't. I can't <laughs> you didn't miss anybody. Moral, back to you. Thank you so much. Thank you. <laughs>